You can pick any of the above, uh, the storing items, uh, pick door and shield uh, if you're facing someone who's poking you on top, try to get boots and lifesteal as soon as possible for the sustain. Uh, then what I try to build is the Hydra for the AOE uh, damage, uh, Infinity Edge for the extra damage. Then you can go really how you want it. Uh, but you can see with these stats, with these items, we have a good attack speed. We have good attack damage, okay armor, and we will get 100% crit when our rage bar is full, and good movement speed, and a lot of on-hit bonuses that will help us. Uh, Trinity Force uh, will help us do a lot of damage when we spin in and uh, try to attack them. Uh, we will also get increased movement speed, so we can catch our prey a lot faster. Uh, and we have, uh, uh, of course, the 40% cooldown reduction, which is very important. Uh, that means we can spin pretty much every 2-3 seconds. Because uh, the more we crit, the uh, faster the cooldown reduction will go on the, uh, the skill. With Trindomir, we want to go with the Halo Blades. And why Halo Blades, you ask, and not Lethal Tempo, like every other guide out there. For me, tempo is too slow. Once I get my improved attack speed, the target is already running away, so it's not so effective and it's hard to utilize it good. I think uh, Halo Blades is better because it, the effect is instant. Once you get in within the, the attack range, uh, you can get two or three strikes out very quickly. So when it goes to these quick fights or harass games, I think Halo Blades will serve you much better. Uh, then I picked the Sudden Impact. To boost our spinning slash which is really nice it only has a four second cooldown so we can use it very often uh, the eyeball collection it's nothing special it gives us extra ad uh, ultimate hunter uh, will help us reduce the cooldown on our ultimate uh, undying range which is very good at trindamir uh, pretty much the the reason why you want to pick Trinomir because this makes him one of the best initi initiators in the game. Uh, he can tank a uh, whole team and soak up all the damage if they are foolish enough to focus him. Uh, then we go with the Alacritid for the extra attack speed. The faster we attack the bigger our chances of we can get off a crit because our passive Battle Fury gives us a lot of crit. Uh, last stand again with synergy with the ultimate it makes it do a lot more damage we can go with the coup de gras as well but I think in the long run it's better to pick the last stand because you will often be at low HP uh, with offense we take the extra attack speed then armor to be a little bit more tankier we don't really need the HP because we, are, we already have a lot of starting HP 
So I think armor will be better. That makes us uh, a little bit tankier. If you're hard pushing a lane and you're around level 2 or 3, uh, try to uh, scout out the blue uh, buff monster. There's a good chance you will catch the enemy jungler by surprise. Uh, and if it's not there, then you can ward the bush and that way you can see when someone is trying to take the blue buff and you can counterattack them. As you can see, the jungle buff will help you immensely during the laning phase. Uh, even though the enemy champion is ranged, uh, they will have a hard time uh, to keep up with you. Uh, as you can see, uh, I am only using the Doran's Blade, I have not left my top lane, I am just farming and uh, still being a threat against the enemy. Here in the bot lane I am trying to stop a push by the enemy, uh, I try to keep them occupied and wait for a good chance to attack. Uh, my team is keeping in the back. I see a big opening to take out the enemy AD carry, uh, but Ash is very hard to uh, catch up. So, and the you can see Shivana thinks that Ash can solo me, but I try to steal uh, some HP from the minions and go for a counter attack. Ash is panicking and she doesn't know how to counter me during my ultimate. Here we have a matchup uh, against Timo, which is also a very famous counter to uh, Melis in the top lane. Uh, the key with killing Timo is you should always wait until he's doing his uh, blind ability. Then you should try to counter attack and uh, hit as many times as you can. Uh, now I'm trying to run away because Nocturne is showing up and Nocturne has a CC that you can fear you. And it's not easy to fight against blind and uh, CC. Uh, but now thinking that I have a big chance to kill Timo, I'll just need some more HP so I can uh, take the damage. But Nocturne shows up again, then I really need to, uh, how do you say, I panic to kill off Timo because I can't kill uh, one on versus two, but one on one I can try. So here I am trying to slug it out with uh, Nocturne and he failed to kill me there. Even though uh, Nocturne was uh, fed. I still managed to kill him. Here we have another Teemo, uh, but this Teemo is far more deadlier. Uh, I just kept my distance and tried to farm, but I needed some help with the ganking. Uh, but my jungler sadly doesn't know how to gank, so I tried to kill him off my uh, alone. Uh, the, the thing is with Teemo, uh, his blind ability is very dangerous against melee, so I wanted my jungler to soak up that uh, blind, but he clearly failed on that part. Here we have the enemy jungler and Teemo uh, partnering up and trying to take the first turret bonus gold. I'm trying to hurry back and defend my turret, but it won't be easy. As you see, the enemy jungler is quite fed and the CS on Teemo is way higher than mine. But uh, I do have the Vampiric Scepter. Uh, I can heal up, uh, th which makes me stay in the lane for a longer period of time. Uh, now the question is, how will I defend my turret? So the thing is, what I'm trying to do here is to at least kill off one of them. That is the goal. Uh, as you can see, I, I can't attack them at both at once, but I try to lure him in close to the turret uh, range. But I failed. As you can see, Jax uh, escapes. But now it's fine. I just uh, try to use my Vampiric Scepter and heal up. Then I counterattack Timo when he uses his blind ability. But uh, things get wrong, I can't believe my eyes when I see Jax coming back with pretty much no HP. Uh, so I take a gamble again, but uh, Timo wins this time, as you can see. Uh, it will not be easy to catch up to Timo now, uh, with all that CS uh, disadvantage. Uh, but I'm trying to help out the weakest link in our team, uh, which is the jungler. Uh, help and take objectives, uh, and killing stuff. Here we are killing the enemy AD carry. Uh, the key aspect of this game is teamwork. So even though someone doesn't really know how to play, we can still win this game. Uh, and also when you trinder me, you should always split push. Uh, here I'm split pushing top lane. And the enemies are trying to destroy my tactic. Uh, all five of them you see are trying to kill me. And sadly they succeed. Uh, here we have a team fight where we win for the first time 
uh, which is now the turning point uh, in the in the match. Uh, we are slowly but surely becoming stronger and stronger than the enemy, uh, since we all pretty much are uh, late uh, game uh, champions. Uh, here again, I am split pushing, and they are trying to stop me. Uh, you see, all three of them are catching up to me, and I just quickly realize I have no chance of escape, so I try to take uh, one down with me. And Timo being the most dangerous one. Uh, here you can also see how strong Jax and Timo are. Uh, they are winning a two versus three uh, fight. Uh, I personally really hate Jax, <laughs> so it's, it's not an easy fight. But uh, the thing with Trinomir is he is pretty much unstoppable in one versus one fights and Jax knows that and so he tries to run away but nothing can uh, save him now and uh, all that CS advantage and uh, kill advantage won't really matter once you reach the late game so your priority is when you're behind is try to delay the enemy from reaching your nexus as much as possible so because when you're delaying you can form up, you can kill up, you can try to catch up in any way possible so you can reach the same power level as the enemies because the more CS and uh, more kills they have the stronger items they can buy but once the both teams have their item builds uh, then the power level will even out then you will have a much bigger chance of winning the match so you can see here as well uh, even though our damage you can see here wasn't the best in the team, it was pretty much the worst. Uh, our role as a tank and initiator was the most crucial part and of course that we had Yasuo and uh, the good Ezreal also helped to win the match.